It's already been five years since Apple unveiled the first version of the AirPods. Feeling all yet? Over the years, the various complaints people had have been slowly addressed one by one. Some people wanted wireless charging, here it is. Others wanted noise cancelling, no problem. But there has always been that one thing, that five years in, Apple still refuses to acknowledge. Why don't AirPods have color options? It may sound like a stupid and trivial question, because it is. But the answer is actually more complex than it may initially seem. It's absolutely not just about AirPods, and understanding the reason may help you comprehend and many things about Apple in general. So, as I was saying, color options have basically been the most requested feature for AirPods. People want them so much, other companies started making them. Some in a legal way, some not really, but still. What is Apple waiting for? AirPods are already an incredibly successful product, but still. Is there something to lose by adding color options? There's one main reason I think they need to look iconic. For big companies like Apple, it's crucial that their products are always recognizable. It's like getting free advertising from all the users. A good example of this is the iPhone camera. Some think it looks really bad, and I kinda agree. But you cannot deny it's incredibly unique. How many times have you seen selfies where it's extremely evident? I basically do every single day. Keep in mind that iPhones are almost always the phones used by influencers, and here's your free advertising. Anyway, it kinda goes without saying that everything I'm going to talk about in this video is just speculation. Of course, Apple will never just tell us how they make their stuff. But still, I wanted to make it clear. Returning to the topic of AirPods, one of the main things that made them stand out were the stands. They looked very unique when they first came out, but fast forward a year or two, they became the standard. The other thing is that they are white, like every pair of Apple earbuds ever. Which, yes, it's not exclusive to them, but white is useful to emphasize their silhouette and any additional detail they have. AirPods 3 look identical to the Pro's well-worn, and I don't think it's coincidental. Sure, it allows them to reuse some parts probably, which is great for them, but I'm pretty sure it's also because they want to make that specific design iconic. There aren't many ways of creating an unique design if you're constrained by a form factor like this. They only have like a couple of tiny details they can use to create a somewhat distinct composition. Details that for Apple must be evident in as many situations as possible, but those details are only visible because they contrast with the white body of the buds. Black AirPods really would be indistinguishable from any other pair of true wireless earbuds. I mean, they do make black AirPods, the AirPods Max. They also come in various other color options for the matter, but hopefully now it starts to make sense why that's the case, right? They have an incredibly distinct design, they really don't look like any other headphones, and many aspects of this design are so complex and expensive that the only brands capable of copying them would be the ones already making other premium headphones, which have no reason for doing it. But what it also means is that it's not impossible they will make black or colorful AirPods eventually, they just have to create a design that's different and iconic enough that's not dependent on color anymore. But is Apple willing to give up such an iconic aspect of its entire brand? Actually, yes. The iPhone, the one thing responsible for basically 50% of all the money they make, had a very unique design with its home button and big bezels. But eventually they still got rid of these old iconic details in favor of more modern ones. But let me warn you, you may not like that design. Many people are complaining about how Apple is favoring uniqueness over minimalism. Honestly, do you think this was the simplest design possible for a pair of headphones? Of course not. Exactly how this wasn't the simplest design possible for an only one computer. Of course they could make more minimal designs, but that's not the point. Excessive minimalism can become boring. For them, it's better to make something you could potentially dislike that you will remember than something so simple nobody will care about it. And because of their immense influence, they can afford to make very bold and unpopular choices. Even if you don't like the camera on the iPhone or the bright colors of the iMax, with all the marketing and the exposure, worst case scenario, you will at least tolerate them. But obviously it's never this simple, there's always a lot more behind every decision that Apple makes or could make, even behind the ones that don't seem to make any sense. For more on this topic, I also talked about it in this video here. Check it out if you want, ciao!